So you tell me, what am I supposed to do? All right, all right. First of all, where, where is all this anger coming from? Edmund is going to be fine, right? Because of us, Maureen. We saved him okay, together. I don't know who Maureen is. I am, I'm totally lost, David, between who I was and, do, and don't know and who I have become. And I, I've got all of these images and these, these feelings that keep pounding at me, and I don't, make, I don't recognize any of them. Right, that, that's because you've been working really hard at remembering your time with Edmund. You're, you're, that's not the images that I'm remembering, not images of Edmund. They're images of you, and I don't make, they don't make any sense. All right, well, then why don't we try to make sense of them together, okay? Now, these images that you mentioned of me, are they disturbing? Well, see, I, I just keep telling myself that, well, it's only natural that I would have memories of you, especially right after the accident, That's because right. you're the one who took care of me, and you're the one who created me. No, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, no, why? It's true. We had a very unique relationship five years ago, and so, of course, I would be drawn to you. Look, right. I, I still want what's best for you, Maureen. I want you to get back everything that you've lost. You do? Yes. Everything. All of my memory you want. If that's what's going to make you happy, yes. <laughs> Look, I believe with all my heart that things happen when they're meant to, okay? I believe that I was destined to find you that I, so I can save your life, right? And that you were meant to come back here in the proper time. And that, that you and I were fated to come together to help um, save Edmund's life last night. Uh, Maureen, I, I believe that we're much in a, involved in a much bigger plan. <laughs> yeah, damn, you're smooth, David, really smooth. Look, I just want you to know that you're not the only one that's been thinking about our connection, all right? And I'm just telling you honestly that I do see there's some sense in it all. Well, I don't understand it. None well, of it. <laughs> you know something, there are things about our lives, about our very existence, that, that we're never going to understand fully. But we do have a responsibility to come to terms with the way things are and, and what, where these things have led us. And you've done that. Because you, you, you seem to me to have a totally new identity, too. You're right. You're right. I'm not the same man who found you on the... <sighs> Look, my, my values have shifted, Maureen. All right? I'm about to be a father. And, and my wife is giving me another chance. That's all that matters to me in my life. And there's just so much about you that I don't understand. So many secrets that I'd like to unearth. Well, don't you think it's in your best interest to concentrate more on Edmund and your future? Oh, I wish that I could do that, but I can't. I can't move forward with my future until I figure out what happened to me and why. And I want to know what you are hiding something. from me, David. You know something? I've been working really hard to remain considerate and professional with you, Maureen. But you asked me a few weeks ago if I regretted finding you. And the fact was back then, no, I did not regret it. But I'll tell you right now, I am beginning to regret it. I risked my entire career to save your life. And I worked really hard to protect you from the facts that you were not prepared to deal with. And isn't it interesting that ever since you found out that you've been a basket case? Well, I'll tell you right now, I am no more prepared to solve all your life's problems than I was five years ago. So go ahead. Go ahead. You want to blame me for everything in your life? Go ahead. I can't stop you. But I've done everything within my power to help you, Maureen. Everything. to David again, and here I am trusting him now. Are oh, you guys running for the long haul? I know it. I think she, she will understand exactly. Maybe we're going to have to start looking at houses again. <laughs> Hi, is David with you? Uh, I thought he maybe came back through here. No, the last I saw he went with you to talk. How did that go? We have some things to settle. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's a feeling we all have where David's concerned. Um, I'm really happy things turned out the way they did. I, I, I really don't have time to talk about this right now. Oh, what would hurt you? No one's seen David. Why would he leave without coming back to us?
Did you kick David out of the hospital because he's not practicing here anymore? Anna, I told David that he was welcome to stay until we were sure that Evan was going to fully recover. And then you told him to get lost? No, I didn't say anything to him. I assume he left because Edmund's recovered now. Ran out of here in a hurry. Maybe he had an appointment of some kind. You saw him leave? Yeah, yeah. He tore through the ER about an hour ago. Excuse me. all over again. You ready to show me what you've been hiding? <laughs> 